everyone. Today, we're diving deeper into algebraic expressions, specifically focusing on how to interpret their structure. As high school students, understanding the structure of expressions is an essential part of algebra. Skateboard ramp design, video game scoring systems, mixing music, planning a road trip, social media algorithms, sports statistics, art and design, or nutrition and fitness. These are just a few real-world examples where you can find the basics of algebra. So, let's jump right in and learn how to decode these expressions like a pro. First things first, let's understand what we mean by the structure of an expression. The structure of an expression refers to how the different parts, such as terms, factors, and coefficients, are organized and combined using mathematical operations like addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division. The goal is to identify and understand these components and how they work together. This will make it easier to manipulate and simplify expressions later on. To interpret the structure of an expression, we need to look at each term and how they're connected by mathematical operations. Let's take an example. For x squared minus 3x plus 2. This expression has three terms, for x squared minus 3x and 2. Each term has its own structure, with factors and coefficients. The terms are connected through addition and subtraction. Now that we've got the basics down, let's see these concepts in action with some examples and real-world problems. Let's say we have the expression, 2y cubed minus 5y squared plus 3y minus 8. Interpret the structure of this expression. We have four terms, 2y cubed, negative 5y squared, 3y, and negative 8. The terms are connected through addition and subtraction, and this expression is a cubic polynomial because the highest power of y is 3. Imagine you're working at a store and the manager asks you to determine the total profit P, for selling two types of products, A and B, the profit for each product A is 4x dollars, and the profit for each product B is 6y dollars. If the store sells X units of product A and Y units of product B, write an expression for the total profit and interpret its structure. The total profit expression would be P equals 4x plus 6y. The structure of this expression shows that we have two terms, 4x and 6y. These terms represent the profit from selling product A and product B, respectively. The terms are connected through addition, indicating that the total profit is the sum of the profits from both products. By understanding the structure, we can see how the number of products sold affects the total profit, which can help the manager make informed decisions about inventory and sales strategies. And there you have it. We've explored how to interpret the structure of expressions and applied this knowledge to real-world problems. By understanding these concepts, you're well on your way to mastering algebra and tackling more complex problems. Thanks for joining us, and keep practicing!